Wait, he's actually gonna do this? He's gonna give me gold and drone for the Airtail and Shell Classic. That's actually awesome. I wasn't anticipating just getting a good trade off the start, but there you go. And look at that. He actually even threw in two Desert Crawlers. So really good trades for the Airtail, considering this vehicle is really cheap, but you get the idea. You're getting really good trades for this vehicle now. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Jailbreak Trading Series, and today we are trading the Airtail. I've gotta say, this is a really nice looking vehicle, and something I really like about it is that you can find it super easily because it starts with the letter A. You could just spawn it in without a problem. Look at this. Now it's also unique in another way that it has actually three seats and the driver's seat is the only seat up in front. So let me actually show this. You've got two seats in the back and then the driver's seat is in the front. So yeah, that can sometimes get annoying depending on what side you're trying to enter the vehicle in. But anyways, it's a really nice looking vehicle and I'm surprised that this was actually retired. I don't actually know why it was retired in the first place. This could totally have still stayed in the game i think they were maybe looking for some more limiteds in the game that most people owned it was basically retired even though it is such a nice looking vehicle and if i'm not mistaken like the closest competitor to the airtail is essentially the roadster i think this vehicle does have slightly slower acceleration but it makes up for that with higher top speed so if you like the roadster then this is a very similar vehicle it just does have the slightly faster top speed so yeah we're gonna just be going around seeing what players offer for the airtail all right so i think this might be a very good server for the sequel just because there isn't actually all that many players with a million dollars now most of the time yeah that's gonna happen you're still gonna get declined all over the place seriously if you guys knew the effort i put into these videos i'm seriously going around for like an hour straight trying to find some decent trades so especially with the current market man i wish it was back to the og days but let's see over here i want to get some trades with some new players and, want, and this guy's offering golden drone which i presume he's going to want an ad so i'm going to throw in the shell classic of course wait he's actually going to do this he's going to give me gold and drone for the airtail and shell classic that's actually awesome i wasn't anticipating just getting a good trade off the start but there you go you know we were declined the first trade but we've got a pretty cool trade the second time yeah yeah he said it himself too this is good it's just that i kind of don't want to get rid of the air tail because i kind of want to get through the rest of the video first i think i am going to skip this trade though but this is totally good enough i would totally do this i only had to throw in the show classic because it wasn't balanced but for the air tail alone this guy was trading the gold anyway so and he actually threw in the retro racer in but he said he was already overpaying let me know your opinions in the comments i I always reply them and i'm just gonna exit this trade all right we've got a trade with lasagna over here and we're gonna be thrown in the air tail so yeah this guy's offering the show classic so vehicle for vehicle i'd say that's pretty well balanced but i don't think you can really do that much more for show classic that you can't with an air tail i don't think we're gonna be able to get something done here yeah he's not making a decision so i'm just gonna have to decline and wow what happened this server literally died i think i'm gonna do this guy's trade and then i might have to switch servers a little bit faster than anticipated and I think this is the same guy that was trading me from a few videos before. And yeah, he's still offering the same thing. UFO Eclair in Hyper Orange Level 1, which um, we've already kind of decided. Like, if he maybe offered the Eclair in Hyper Orange Level 1 alone to just balance this trade, then maybe it would be worth it, depending on the player. If you really want a Hyper Chrome, you know, no one's stopping you from getting one. I just don't see a point in really getting, like, my 15 Hyper Chrome that I don't have a reason to use for because I can't really upgrade. So I'm just going to have to decline this trade. Oh, huh, that's really interesting. Is there a new exploit in the game? Because as soon as as i joined the server i was invited to a crew so i wonder if azimo did end up patching that invite crew glitch because during streams that was something so annoying i would be grinding right and then every second there would just be a crew invite and unless i kicked that person that was host like bruh it's like jailbreak still has so many glitches that have not been patched so yeah all right let's go over here let's set our chat box to trading the air tail and man i just love being able to spawn this vehicle in very easily and we've actually got mr beast over here let's see if he's actually actually as good as he seems in his videos and let's see if he actually offers a huge overpay for the air tail and looks like we didn't get him this time but i'll definitely try training with him this player is offering the desert crawler and he looks like he also has the fake dominus as well oh man i feel bad for this player he's thinking that he's going to be able to trade the desert crawler for the air tail even though my side is too high but um let's make his day feel better wait let's see if i can try and trade a safe wait i wanted to make that player feel a little bit better because he had no safes but he ended up leaving so rip oh hey bob ross from like five videos ago i remember this guy doing jailbreak videos for like 20 days straight is making me realize that a lot of the players i'm trading with are literally the same players i have been doing trades with for
for the past like few weeks or so all right let's try training with this player he's actually offering in the snake but then he removed it oh pixel texture i mean that's even better assuming you are a beta player if you're not a beta player i don't know why you trade for pixel then because you aren't getting the particles and it's like i've had people in the comments say they're really upset that they traded for the pixel and then they don't have the particles so i mean i'm sorry to hear that guys but you can only get the particles for the pixel texture if you are a beta player so yeah if you're not a beta player then i can advise you to trade for the orange pixel or a blue pixel because in most scenarios they might actually be worth even more and that guy declined so whatever i'm gonna be going back to the trading dome but yeah i really like the handling on this vehicle like i said it's basically the equivalent of a roadster it just has a slower acceleration but a higher top speed look at that it's going well beyond the roadster's top speed and although it did hit a wall i'm sure we would have gone all the way to like 250 or something so we've got this player over here he's offering the shell classic and the radiant purple i really wish he did something different instead of the radiant purple i feel he could have done just something better maybe a million dollar vehicle it's just slightly under par from what i'm expecting i'm honestly looking for like about 1.5 million and that's about what the shell classic goes for like about 500k so i mean yeah i just can't do it for radiant purple if he added a small ad then maybe i'd consider it. and it might actually seem that maybe the reason he hasn't done that is because he doesn't even have a million dollar vehicle but he does have an icebreaker wait we might be able to get a huge trade for the icebreaker hold on i'm gonna be able to throw in like just about everything i have oh he actually knows the value of the icebreaker okay that's fine all right let's trade with this player they have a reasonable inventory i'm looking for about a drone and maybe a tiny toy let's see if they actually offer that and look at that i'm pretty dead on when it comes to training but no they throw in a roadster that means i do have to add in my own show classic so that kind of sucks but look at that that's a really good trade so if you want to get something decent for the air tail then you actually can so i mean just look at that you're getting a drone which is a great flying vehicle and the tiny toy which is a decent vehicle for the show classic as well as the roadster which is basically the competitor to the air tail and honestly you know i've been talking about the differences between the roadster and air tail but in some scenarios i've actually seen the roadster to be better than the air tail in the city because that acceleration helps a lot and look at that he actually even threw in two desert crawlers so wow so really good trades for the air tail considering this vehicle is really cheap but you get the idea you're getting really good trades for this vehicle now so i mean that's pretty much this entire player's inventory which is kind of funny but yeah huge overpace for the air tail and honestly i would totally consider trading for one. Oh wow this guy's also throwing in the air tail that's actually interesting let's see what he does for an air tail in beige i think this guy might have a decent inventory never mind i take that back this guy is like absolutely nothing i can maybe see what he offers for a go live i can't just do a base it for that nonsense though okay yeah he's kind of trying to lowball me oh uh, wow wait why is he trying to trade for my air chill oh yeah that's right because mine has been traded three times see this time traded feature is so stupid it makes no sense honestly i can't wait until azima removes it so yeah i'm not gonna do this but i mean wait he's still adding again now so i don't know what he's really up to i'll wait until he adds enough to make the trade balance i mean look at that he's just constantly going i mean look at that instead of just adding another like 50k of vehicle like maybe a dirt bike he added in like a lot more spoilers just to even get close to the value of the goliath and wow he just gave up i've been looking around here we've been getting some pretty good trades for the air tail so far nothing crazy again don't expect like insane overpace considering this is like a 300k vehicle that just happened to go retired but i mean i'm giving the air tail and let's see what he offers he has the roadster and and then i'm gonna assume he's gonna throw in the snake or drone like i said if you get this vehicle as a small head you can totally get a very good upgrade for it but of course unfortunately he did have to mess up the trading value by adding in the hyper orange level one so i'm hoping he actually changes his mind of course nope he had to decline so anyways guys i feel that the air tail is pretty reasonable now here's the thing i could go on and on trading the air tail standalone but i think that this is mostly a vehicle that you're going to want to add alongside another vehicle what i mean by that is let's say you're training a Torero. I think the air tail is going to be an excellent ad for vehicles like the Torero because then you can start looking at like the M12 or something and you can get totally reasonable trades and the whole point of training is you're working your way up to get some more valuable vehicles right so that's where this vehicle comes in and pretty much every player has this vehicle or had it at some point if you don't have an air tail then maybe you missed out on it by chance but if you did play jailbreak in like 2019 2020 
or within the past three years you've probably seen this vehicle it just so happens to have gone limited but i've definitely been able to get a really good amount of items for this vehicle and if you actually want to see some examples where i have used the airtail to get really good w's then you could totally take a look at my youtube shorts i have a ton of trades right for in the airtail now the thing is like some trades might not add up nowadays because the market is like completely flipped over now i mean some items that used to be very cheap are like ultra expensive now so take some trades with a grain of salt but overall i really like the airtail and i hope you guys were able to get an idea of what this vehicle is worth and the best way to get the most out of it so anyways that being said i really like the performance of it great all-around vehicle and if you get an opportunity to get this for like a million dollar vehicle i don't see why you wouldn't but as always if you want to see some other videos in this jailbreak training series then i do have a playlist in the description but as always if you like the video make sure you leave a like and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe but without further ado see you in the next video